Hello, welcome back to Creative Maple Workshop. I'm Nathan DeVouvier, and I really haven't been posting on here in probably about a year. And there's been a lot going on during that year. Decided to take some time with family, do some camping. We actually moved. Um, I'm in a new shop now. Anyway, I'm ready to get back to it, and in general, get back to woodworking altogether. I just want to generally share some stuff with all of you, just add to the amazing community of woodworkers out there, and anything that I've learned that I've found helpful, I just want to pass it along. So today, what I'm going to be doing is showing you how I rewired my 1412 Laguna bandsaw for 220, even though it came rewired for 110. I just enjoy this stuff, and I want to make my shop a little bit better, and I thought maybe by sharing this, because I couldn't find any YouTube videos of anybody doing this specific bandsaw, I could help those of you out there who are interested in doing the same thing and to do it safely, knowing fully well that you can and going about it confidently with at least some direction. I noticed immediately when I got into the shop that every time I started up my bandsaw, it drew down on the electric. I could see the lights dim. <laughs> I heard my dust collector slow down, and that's just not good. It's really hard on motors. All of that's happening because I'm drawing so much amperage to start up the bandsaw. Anyway, this is how I did it. A couple of important disclosures. First, I am not an electrician. This video is intended as a demonstration of what I've done to my saw and how I did it but it is not electrical advice. To get started, I needed to locate the wiring diagram. Laguna included the wiring diagram in their manual. However, I found a second diagram on the inside of the motor cover. At first glance, they looked different, which made me question the diagram from the manual, but looking more closely, they accomplished the same task. They just show it in different ways. Here, they are indicating that we moved certain wires to different locations. Laguna has chosen a really great connection system inside this motor box. Way better than those typical loose wires and wire nuts that you usually see. All you have to do is simply unscrew the connection and move the wire to the correct location. It's really simple. I'm taking the main cover, the plastic arc protector, and the screw and placing them somewhere safe until I need them again. As you see, there is a hot, a neutral, and a ground on the bottom of the connection plate. The ground connects to the housing, but the hot and neutral connect to two other wires on the top side of the connection plate. So to accomplish this, I'm going to disconnect the black and red wire so we can remove the red wire. Then I'm going to replace the screw with the black wire only in the first slot. Now I disconnect the gray and the yellow wires and connect the gray and the red wire in that middle slot. The yellow wire will stay where it was. Now after we have everything put in place, it's time to double check it and then button it all up and give it a test. Now this video doesn't cover this, but when you run new service for your bandsaw, you're gonna to have to make sure that you get a double pole breaker. Here I have a three prong plug with one of the plugs in a sideways orientation. You can find these plugs at any hardware store. I have not run 220 feet for this bandsaw yet, so I have to wheel this thing across the room to the other side where my table saw, which also runs on 220, has an outlet. Okay, now for the real test. Perfect started up perfectly. That's exactly what I wanted. Now, you can see a huge difference between the way that it started up the first time and the way it started up the second time. Moving from 110 to 220 doesn't increase the power of your saw. It only increases how quickly it starts and it reduces the amount of amperage needed to make it work. So, check that out. I can run my dust collector and start my bandsaw without the lights dimming. All right, folks. Well, thank you so much for checking this out. I will be back with another video soon on a new tool that I've got. Until then, take care.